Welcome back to Current Affairs Headless Series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss another important, interesting current affairs headless topic that is deep ocean mission. Deep ocean mission. Friends, India has developed a rocket to dive 6,000 meters deep into the oceans. We have developed a rocket, exclusive rocket, which can dive deep into the ocean. Interesting, right? We will try to understand the topic. So, in the year 2021, Ministry of Earth Sciences, in association with ISRO, DRDO, Defense Research Development Organization, Department of Atomic Energy, Department of Biotechnology, Center for Scientific and Industrial Research, and also Indian Navy. So, Ministry of Earth Sciences, in association with uh, these organizations in 2021, it came with deep ocean mission. So, what is the objective of this deep ocean mission? The objective is simple, deep sea exploration. So, what we are going to explore? What we are going to explore? That too, deep sea, how deep? We are planning to go 6,000 meters deep and we want to explore. What we are planning to explore? We are planning to explore the minerals, the minerals. We are going to explore the minerals. See, in the Central Indian Ocean Basin, in Central Indian Ocean Basin, we have a lot of polymetallic nodules. We have a lot of polymetallic nodules. See, polymetallic nodules are accretion of, rounded accretion of Several minerals, manganese, copper, nickel, zinc, rare earth elements. These are potato shaped, all minerals fused together. It has formed a potato shaped nodule, which is called as polymetallic nodule, which is found in huge quantities in the central Indian Ocean Basin. In central Indian Ocean Basin, huge minerals is found. If we are able to explore just 10% of it, then that will meet the energy requirements for 100 years in India. That much resource we have in the Central Indian Ocean Basin. So we want to dive 6000 meters and explore these minerals. Then understand the biodiversity. Understand the biodiversity in deep oceans. Understand the impact of climate change. How the climate change is affecting the seabed, the ocean beds. How it is affecting the biodiversity that we have to understand. So these are the predominant objectives of this deep ocean mission. Friends, here I would like to explain about high seas. I would like to explain concept about high seas. But before that we should know what is exclusive economic zone. Let me explain that. So India has a close to 7500 kilometers coastline India has okay so now we have oceans here we have oceans here we should know that 200 nautical miles 200 nautical miles from the land boundary 200 nautical miles from the land boundary right this 200 nautical miles from the land boundary, that region is called as exclusive economic zone. That is this region. This region is called as exclusive economic zone. So in this exclusive economic zone, only India has the right, only India has the right to do all kind of exploration. All the mineral resources in this 200 nautical miles region is for India. One nautical mile is roughly 1.8 kilometers. So you can calculate how much is the distance between the mainland and the exclusive economic zone borderline. Now beyond this exclusive economic zone, the region in the oceans is called as high seas. Now who can do activities in high seas? Anyone can do, any country can do, Pakistan can do, China can do, America can do. This high seas is a global common, it's common for all the countries. However, if every country comes to one particular region and they want to do exploration, that will lead to confusion. To avoid that confusion, we have a regulator. 
we have a regulator called as international sea bed authority international sea bed authority this international sea bed authority was set up in the year 1994 through a convention called as un clause united nation convention on laws of seas friends i will explain about un clause in some other video in detail where we will discuss more about this exclusive economic zone as well but we will restrict our discussion with respect to our topic today so this international seabed authority will be regulating the country's activities in high seas so this international seabed authority for the deep ocean mission of india has allocated 75000 square kilometers in the central indian ocean basin so we got the right to do exploration in this region so we discuss about the objective our aim is for deep sea exploration how deep we are planning to go 6000 meters we are planning to go so that much deep 6000 meters we have to dive inside 6000 meters we have to dive we have to dive researchers should go that much deep 6000 meter below the uh, i mean at the bottom of the oceans imagine what could be the level of pressure which they have to handle 6000 meters below so that requires a special vehicle i said right india has developed a rocket to go deep into the oceans that is not a rocket basically india to dive 6000 meters deep into the ocean we have developed a human submersible which is named as matsaya which is named as matsaya 6000 it will look like this right this is matsaya 6000 so we have developed a human submersible successfully which is named as matsaya 6000 so where researchers will go in that submersible deep 6000 meters and they will try to understand how the deep oceans are and this deep ocean mission is actually named as samudrayaan project i hope you got some clarity on uh, what we have discussed so here i have given the slides for the content what we have discussed you can pause the video and you can make notes or you can take a print screen right economic potential i have given about the minerals i have given so here i have given an mcq based on the discussion find the right answer and give it in the comment section i hope the video was useful so i'll meet you in another interesting important hitless topic till then bye take care